Okay, I'm going to do three examples from the homework that you guys got on Friday. The first example is number one, which says f of x equals negative 8x squared minus 10x. Sorry that I'm writing so badly. I'm using a big pen thing. Minus 6. Okay, and they give us the points, the two points, x equals 11 and x equals 1. And this is supposed to be a secant line, and they're asking for the equation of the secant line. So first of all, in order to write an equation of any line, we're always going to use this very nice equation, which looks like this. So y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1. Okay, we need to know m, we need to know x1, and we need to know y1. We already know x's, they're 11 and 1, but we don't know the rest of the information. So let's get the slope first. So for slope, we use the same formula that you've been using since Algebra 1. So it's going to be m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The problem with this is that we don't know the y values. All we have are the two x values. So before we can use this equation, we need to figure out what these y values are going to be. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to say f of 11. So I'm looking for the y value when x equals 11. And I'm just plugging that into the equation that we have right over here. Negative 8x squared minus 10x minus 6, and I'm just going to do it in my calculator. So negative 8 times 11 squared minus 10 times 11 minus 6 gives us negative 10, 84. So that's our first y value that goes with this x value here. And then if I do the other one, f of 1, same deal. I'm going to plug it into this original equation over here. So negative 8 times 1 squared minus 10 times 1. minus 6 and I get negative 24 so now that's my second y value so it, x and negative or I'm sorry 11 and negative 1084 they go together and a 1 and negative 24 go together so now I can substitute into this equation and I have negative 1084 minus negative 24 make sure you get this negative sign as well as this negative sign there should be two of them and then the the x value that matches 1084 was 11 and the x value that matches tw negative 24 is 1 so plugging that into the equation we get negative 106 and that's our slope so if I go to this equation here, I don't know how to erase very well. Okay, so this M, this is not erasing. Okay, this M is going to be replaced with a negative 106. And then X here. There we go, that's better. Oh, sorry, this x stays. It's the other x that goes away. So this x gets replaced with either of the two that we have. So we could use 11 or we could use 1. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use 1 because it's a little bit smaller. So then the y1 you need to replace with the one that matches it. So I used x equals 1. That means that negative 24 matches, so it's going to be this. So our final equation, which I realize is kind of hard to see. Um, let me fix this plus sign. Our final equation is negative 106 times x minus 1 and then plus negative 24. Or you could just have minus 24. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I don't know how to clear off the screen. Um, let's see, I'm going to try to erase, whoops, that's black. Try to erase all of this, and then I'll do the next problem on your homework. Okay. 
Okay, so almost done. There has to be a better way to do this, but I'll figure that out some other day. Okay, so the next problem that I'm going to do from your homework is number two. I'm sorry, number seven. Oops, so number seven says that f of x equals 3x squared plus 8x minus 10 and now we have a tangent line so in this case our x value is negative 6 and then they tell us that our slope is negative 28 so because they give us the slope right here we don't really have all that much to do okay? just like in the last problem they want us to write the equation of this tangent line, so we're going to use our very nice equation. y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1. And we need to know m, x, and y. Fortunately, they give us m. They tell us that that's negative 28. And they also give us x. It's negative 6. So the only thing that we're missing is the y1. And in order to get the y1, we're going to do it the same way we did with the other problem, and we're going to substitute into this er original equation here. So we have f of negative 6, and I'm going to do that in my calculator again. So we have 3 times negative 6 in parentheses. I'm going to write it out just to make sure you don't mess this up. So the negative 6 has to be in parentheses before you square it. And then 8 times negative 6 minus 10. So when you do that, you get 50. So you should have 50. Okay, that's your y value, 50. So that means that your final equation is going to be y equals negative 28x minus negative 6. Make sure you get this negative here and also this negative there close parentheses, and then plus 50. So that would be your answer for number 7. That's the equation of the tangent line that passes through x equals negative 6. Okay, so I'm going to try to erase that now. So, almost done. And I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do number 10 on your homework, so you can Go ahead and pull that one up and look at it. This takes a very long time to erase. I thought this program would be easier to use than this. Okay. So, get my pen back. Okay, so number 10 tells us that f of x equals 3x squared minus x minus 7, and they want the equation of the tangent line that goes through x equals 15. So, again, just like in the other problems, we're still using the same equation of the line. So we have this, and the three things that we need are the m, x1, and y1. In this case, we only have the 15. So we need to solve for both y1 and m. We're going to get y1 the same way that we got it in the other problems. I'm going to take this 15 and plug it in. So f of 15, doing it in the calculator. So it would be 3 times 15 squared minus 15 minus 7, which comes out to 653. Okay, and so that's my y value. That's done. Now for the slope, you can't use this equation. It's not going to work. Um, because if you use this equation, since you only have one point, then the y values are going to be the same, and the x values are going to be the same, and you just messed up, like you have no answer here. So we are kind of using this equation, but we're specifically using the difference quotient, and we have a shortcut that we can use. So our slope for this particular tangent line will be 6x minus 1. 
So I multiply by this exponent, and then this x has a coefficient of 1. So that's where that 1 came from. Now, to actually get the number for slope, I plug in. So 6, we're using 15 as our x, minus 1. And so you can figure out that that will give you 89. And that's your slope. So here's 89. So our final equation would be 89 x minus 15 plus 653. And that's your answer.